Hey guys, this is Craig Migliaccio from AEC Service Tech, and today what we're going over are the top 10 reasons why a fan blower motor in a furnace or air conditioning system is not working. It's just not turning on. Reason number one is a bad capacitor on a PSC blower motor. The capacitor's job is to store and discharge electricity in order to create an artificial phase of electricity for the blower motor to turn on and run. So we need to be able to test to see if this is good. So we're going to turn the power off first, remove the electrical wires off the capacitor, and then we're going to mount a bleed resistor onto this temporarily just to bleed off any residual voltage. You can leave that on for about four seconds. It's a 15 or 20,000 ohm resistor. And so now we can test it with our multimeter. You have to have a multimeter that's capable of reading MFD. And this one right here says MFD right here. And we're only reading 0.6. So this should read 10. So we know that this capacitor is bad. Let's go ahead and test this capacitor. This is a good one. And it has the same ratings. It's a 10. You have to replace a bad capacitor with a new capacitor with the exact same MFD rating. So this one reads 10.45. So we know that this one's good. So if this was a 5 UF, we would replace it with a 5 UF. If this was 7.5, we'd replace it with a 7.5. So anyway, that's how you test it. Reason number two is when you have a blower motor that's intermittently turning on, but when it does, it has a, a bad burning smell and maybe you just replaced the capacitor because it has failed. What has happened here is that the blower motor has sustained damage due to the prior bad capacitor. And even though you have the correct voltage now and a good capacitor, the windings are gonna overheat prematurely. And so what happened is the only thing that saved the windings from, sh from shorting out or from opening up uh, was this little high temperature thermal limit when you have a bad capacitor because the rotor is not spinning. So this is sitting on the windings and will open up the electrical circuit on the common wire at extremely high temperatures on those windings. Now, during that time, uh, those windings, the, the resin, which is the insulation on each one of those wires, has melted down, it's degraded. And so now, any time that the motor is going to be working with a new good capacitor, the motor overheats and, and ends up failing. So this may be maybe a half an hour after you replace a capacitor, one day, two days, maybe it's a week. But that's when the, the motor fails. When, it, when you are testing this motor, when it's cold, it may test out fine and the windings may be fully intact, but uh, you're not going to be able to test it unless you have a mega, uh, but a regular multimeter, you're not going to be able to tell that this is bad. So anytime that you have a bad capacitor, be very much ready to replace this blower motor with a new one. Reason number three is a failed blower motor due to the electrical windings opening up or the electrical windings opening up and shorting to the ground. Now, you want to wait to check your resistance values until this blower motor has cooled down. And we're going to check between common and black right here, which will be our highest fan speed. And we have our lowest resistance value, which is a 3 ohms right now. And we're going to leave our one probe in the common. And we're going to come over to our blue. And we have 4.2 ohms, which is our middle speed. We have from white to orange, 7.1, and then red should be our lowest fan speed and our highest resistance value, which is 10 ohms of resistance. Now we're also going to leave our probe in the common, and we're going to be checking our capacitor leads as well against our common wire. We've got 10 ohms there, and we have 28 ohms there. So we know all of these are connected. So now all we need to do is just check from one to the ground and we read OL. So that's what we should read. We should not read anything other than open line on this. We should have absolutely no resistance value. If we did, then that would mean that one of the windings is shorted onto the ground frame. But in this case, all of our windings are intact and we are not shorted to the ground. So this blur motor is good. Problem number four is when you have a bad bearing. So what you want to do with the power off, you want to reach in here and you want to just spin it and you want to wiggle it around and see if it's going to end up falling into a groove or something like that. So it's working fine there. Now this one, this one spins fine, but this one right here does not. And you can see it's just kind of stuck. And so that blower motor is not going to be turning on. Reason number five is a bad blower motor module on an ECM blower motor. This one happens to be a 2.3. We have other ones such as this one right here is a 3.0 and we also have 
motors such as this. This is an X13 and this is a constant torque or multi-speed unit, but regardless of the ECM motor, if it has power and it's not turning on, it's most likely a bad module. In this case, we have 27 volts on the 16 pin connector. We're using our TechMate Pro. And so we have our connection for our 2.3 motors. We've got a connection here for a 3.0 model. So we make sure we have power there. It's still not spinning. We want to make sure that we do have our line voltage as well. And so we're reading 125 volts there. So we know that this motor module is bad. I'm going to turn the power off to this. And now I just want to visually inspect the inside. So we've loosened our two screws on the end of our bell or module housing. And so what we want to do is we're going to be disconnecting this little wire right here. And we can visually inspect on the inside of this module. You can smell it to see if it's burnt right here. You can see that this um, current right here limiter is burnt. And so this is actually a PTC thermistor but it acts as a current limiter and this one is burnt. Sometimes the capacitors are burnt. Let's take a look at a couple more. In this case, once again, it's another current limiter that's bad. It's burnt right there. So you could technically replace that if you were desiring to. Right here, you have bad capacitors. You can see this one was leaking fluid. It's mushroomed at the top. And so this one's bad. This one was off of a 3.0. When a module like this is bad, you don't have to replace the motor and module, but just the module itself. Let's go ahead and test this motor and just make sure that the motor is good. So now we can check the motor's resistance values. So we just checked the resistance between each pair to see if this motor is intact. We got 10.2, 10.3, 10.4, 10.5, 10.6, 10.7, 10.8, 10.9, 10.10, 10.11, 10.12, 10.13, 10.14, 10.15, 10.16, 10.17, 10.18, 10.19, 10.20, 10.21, 10.22, 10.23, 10.24, 10.25, 10.26, 10.27, 10.28, 10.29, 10.30, 10.31, 10.32, 10.33, 10.34, 10.35, 10.36, 10.37, 10.38, 10.39, 10.40, 10.41, 10.42, 10.43, 10.44, 10.45, 10.46, 10.47, 10.48, 10.49, 10.50, 10.51, 10.52, 10.53, 10.54, 10.55, 10.56, 10.57, 10.58, 10.59, 10.60, 10.61, 10.62, 10.63, 10.64, 10.65, 10.66, 10.67, 10.68, 10.69, 10.70, 10.71, 10.72, 10.73, 10.74, 10.75, 10.76, 10.77, 10.78, 10.79, 10.80, 10.81, 10.82, 10.83, 10.84, 10.85, 10.86, 10.87, 10.88, 10.89, 10.90, 10.91, 10.92, 10.93, 10.94, 10.95, 10.96, 10.97, 10.98, 10.99, 10.10, 10.11, 10.12, 10.13, 10.14, 10.15, 10.16, 10.17, 10.18, 10.19, 10.20, 10.21, 10.22, 10.23, 10.24, 10.25, 10.26, 10.27, 10.28, 10.29, 10.30, 10.31, 10.32, 10.33, 10.34, 10.35, 10.36, 10.37, 10.38, 10.39, 10.40, 10.41, 10.42, 10.43, 10.44, 10.45, 10.46, 10.47, 10.48, 10.49, 10.50, 10.51, 10.52, 10.53, 10.54, 10.55, 10.56, 10.57, 10.58, 10.59, 10.60, 10.61, 10.62, 10.63, 10.64, 10.65, 10.66, 10.67, 10.68, 10.69, 10.70, 10.71, 10.72, 10.73, 10.74, 10.75, 10.76, 10.77, 10.78, 10.79, 10.80, 10.81, 10.82, 10.83, 10.84, 10.85, 10.86, 10.87, 10.88, 10.89, 10.90, 10.91, 10.92, 10.93, 10.94, 10.95, 10.96, 10.97, 10.98, 10.99, 10.100, 10.101, 10.102, 10.103, 10.104, 10.105, 10.106, 10.107, 10.108, 10.109, 10.110, 10.111, 10.112, 10.113, 10.114, 10.115, 10.116, 10.117, 10.118, 10.119, 10.120, 10.121, 10.122, 10.123, 10.124, 10.125, 10.126, 10.127, 10.128, 10.129, 10.130, 10.131, 10.132, 10.133, 10.134, 10.135, 10.136, 10.137, 10.138, 10.139, 10.140, 10.151, 10.152, 10.153, 10.154, 10.155, 10.156, 10.157, 10.158, 10.159, 10.160, 10.170, 10.171, 10.172, 10.173, 10.174, 10.175, 10.176, 10.177, 10.178, 10.179, 10.180, 10.191, 10.192, 10.193, 10.194, 10.195, 10.196, 10.197, 10.198, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 10.199, 
Reason number nine is maybe you have an issue with your thermostat wire from where the thermostat is located inside the building and where the wire is running to the indoor unit. So maybe a mouse has chewed through the wire or maybe there was a bad installation practice where a wire staple has squished the thermostat wire. What you really wanna do is, is hammer in a staple and then just zip tie the wire to it. So to bypass the thermostat and the thermostat wiring, what you can do is you can just jump from R to G and see if the, the blower motor turns on. So if the blower motor does turn on, such as this right here, then you know that there's no problem with this control board here or with this unit and your issue is with the thermostat wire if you've already troubleshot the thermostat itself. Reason number 10 is maybe the blower motor is actually running, but you have a clog in your ductwork or maybe a collapse in your ductwork, such as this one right here. So I hope that helped. And if you want to learn more about HVAC, make sure you check out our website at acservicetech.com where we have, we've got quizzes, we've got calculators, the podcast, articles, quick tips. We also have our air conditioning book, the refrigerant charging and service procedures for air conditioning. And we also have our workbooks, like a thousand questions and also quick reference cards. And we've got posters as well. We also have our physical resources over at Amazon and hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.